Javier is saying, uh, when people are working in the cruise ship and the relationship is serious, can they ask for a cabin for them? Yes. yes. Yeah, absolutely. That's so, the best thing to do. So Javier is basically asking, if you're in a serious relationship, can you request a cabin to share with another person? So here's what, ha here's what tends to happen, though. Usually you don't go the, uh, the official route where you end up getting a cabin with somebody. Mm -hmm. What generally happens is you, um, you make some type of arrangement with your roommate and, you know, your significant other can mm -hmm. come into the cabin for a little while, hang out. Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, your significant other is friends with your roommate as well so they can hang out. Are you interested in learning the seven alarming things that cruise ship contracts are hiding in the fine print? Go to shiplifetv.com slash contract secrets and find out for free. Because one of the biggest problems that I see with new hires is that they don't know what they're signing up for. And they show up on day one and they're expected to know everything that's in a six page legal contract. So go to shiplifetv.com slash contract secrets to watch almost an hour's worth of free content where I break down a six page contract and you can learn everything that you need to about vacation, schedule, pay, overtime, benefits, and so much more. That's shiplifetv.com slash contract secrets to become a member of the Shiplife TV community and get free access to the crew library. Now back to the video. Um, yes, the beds are super, super small, but just enough for two people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's what that's what happens sometimes. And sometimes you you there's a voluntary switch. Yeah, I was going to mention that. Like, it's not um, legal. I mean, legal. I mean, that's not the official way to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's not. If if you get caught, like you had some <clears throat> sort of some sort of talk from the captain or whatever, or the yeah, you'll, HR, you'll probably meet with the staff captain about but, it. But yeah, I've seen where you know the girl. Like example, I had my own cabin, like small cabin, and he has like so I would just switch with his um, roommate kind of a thing so mm. i see i saw a lot of that daily jeeper is saying on uh, royal caribbean you have to register before uh being assigned the same cabin so you have to you have to put it on the books that yeah. you are an official couple yeah, I, which makes a lot of sense i think that's pretty pretty standard but i did that also makes sense because if they're going to do um uh a, a, inspection not cabin inspection but if 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 the if the company is actually putting opposite sex or you know whatever uh two people together and especially if they're opposite sex like there has to be a good reason for it mm -hmm. so at least on the books they're able to say yeah we did this because you guys said that you were mm -hmm. a couple but yeah going back to what she was saying is that you know for example if if i if if, if i was rooming with my 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 roommate josh and um i one thing I could do is talk to Josh and say, dude, she's got her own cabin. How about you guys switch? So we I could be have done that. Yeah. That no, was too scary, they, cat, though. They, that wouldn't. Yeah. He wouldn't give up his cabin. <laughs> so, but that's another way to do it. That's not as common though, because you're not supposed to do that. You also run the risk of um, getting in trouble because yeah. in, in the event of inspections or something like that, mm -hmm. if, I mean, it's more common than you think. It's just like, I'm just saying it, but shh. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't see it, but if you say so. So anyway, Javier, I hope that answers your question. Mm 